Continuity, polarity, and insulation resistance. This is continuity part one. All right, <clears throat> there's our meter, there's our cable. Our client has complained of unusual results. We can only see the ends of the cable because they could be buried underground. They could be set inside a concrete wall. They could be underneath the house and you're through the ceiling and you can't get to it. So the first check we're going to do, or it's a new installation, is we're going to go to the ohm scale of our meter. Ohm scale just there. Join our probes together to make sure our meter is working properly. It should read zero or very close to it. 0 0.1. If you're lucky enough, you can use the REL button and that will zero the meter like zeroing a set of scales. So the first check we're going to do is uh, continuity. You would expect that the red would start there and finish there. And because that's a low reading, zero ohms, that, that means it's continuous from one end of the cable to the other. At the moment, can't get more continuous than touching like that, that's continuity. So we know the red starts there and finishes there. Check the green, the earth, starts at this end of the cable, finishes at this end of the cable, and I can pin it down. Yes, it's continuous. Neutral starts there, finishes there. That's all there is to continuity testing. Are they continuous from one end of the cable to the other? If you've got a multi-core cable or a different kind of cable, that's fine. Just do more tests.